right guys, welcome to the UK Scale and Crawler video. Um, I've been, as you know, as most of you know, I've been flying quite a bit lately, trying to learn how to fly. And, you know, not being out with the trucks and stuff, which is hopefully going to get rectified this Saturday. I should be going out with the trucks so I can do a bit of a, a driving truck scaling video style thing for you all, because I'm pretty sure a few of you are missing them now. Um, but yeah, back to the flying side of stuff. Um, I've, as most of you know, I've now got this Emax Nighthawk uh, 280 Pro. Um, been flying it, great quad, can't fault it. It's really strong, flies really well. PID tuning's not too bad straight out of the box with it. It, it's just brilliant. Um, so then that then made me go and get a ZMR. Um, so I've built a ZMR up, as you'll see from the previous video to this one, which was its first ever maiden voyage. Um, still needs a bit of tuning, needs a few things doing to it, but it, it is gradually getting there and it'll be all right once I've finished setting it all up. Um, but I don't like the Devo radio. Um, well, I do. The radio is not too bad, but... I don't like the receivers that with it. They're really big, they're bulky, they're heavy. You have to use tons of wires. You, know, you have to have a wire for each input. So you've got to have one for your aileron, your aileron, um, your for, or your rudder, should I say, for your throttle. And you've got to have another one for channel A4, AUX1, AUX2. So you end up with a big bunch of wires in your quad, which is never good when you've got props spinning as fast as what they do. Because if you chop a wire, your quad falls out of the sky. So, um, I was looking about on the internet and I decided to get a different radio so I've picked up a DX6i now I know they're a pretty old radio but they're still good for what they do um, they're more than enough for what I need um, I may well be getting a Tyrannus for Christmas but we'll have to see how that pans out but I needed a better radio so I've ended up getting a DX6 um, now the receivers that come with the Devo well, with the Devo 7 that's one of them. Um, they what you'll need to, you know, to set it up so you can go flying. Now the size of the antennas on it are ridiculous. They're massive. It's, it's got a good range. Don't get me wrong, but the, the antennas are huge. And then you've got to have a wire that goes into every one of them plugs in there. So it, it's it's not brilliant. So with the Spectrum, that's your receiver. Well, that can be your receiver. That's all it is. So, as a size comparison, that to that, I think I want to go with this. So, this is called a satellite receiver. Now, the way it works, it works on a thing called PPM um, or serial. So, all you have is you have a positive, a negative and a signal wire, that's all you have to run to it. You don't have to run a separate signal for each command, shall we say, so you don't have to have one for your aileron, you don't have to have one for your aileron, you don't have to have one for your rudder, and so forth, for everything else. Um, the way it works is it does it all down one line. So I'll show you all that working on a computer in a minute. But to fit this, you need to have, let me just go and get it. And by the power of the television, I'm back. Um, yeah, so to fit that, you first need one of them, which is a Spectrum AR8000. Now, this is standard style receiver, but this part alone will not work on the DX6i. So that's where you use the satellite part of it. So, it has that little port there, and you plug that cable in which is enormous. Now, it did have a plug on that end, it hasn't no more. Now, the other plug that's on that on the other end is exactly the same as this one. Yeah, so when you get it, you plug, the, plug this into both ends, you've got that in, into your receiver and then the other plug which should be on that end then runs into the satellite part. Now, to bind them together you'll need to add a 5 volt source into this. So, you can take the 5 volt source off the normal input. Um, when you're setting up the Emacs, you'll have a lead that plugs in, which normally should plug into one of them receivers. The one that's got the 
brown, black and red, white, it's fine, love. What is it? Brown, red and yellow wires on it. So it's one plug with three pins in. And just plug that directly into this, into any one of the channels. Power up the quad, make sure you've got no props on, just in case. But power up the quad, once you power the quad up, and you've got the bind plug into the bind part on the receiver, which is down here, that'll start flashing along with this. So to bind it, while that's flashing, the trainer switches on the back left hand side of the radio. Once you've set your once you've made the model name and everything, turn your radio off and then hold the trainer switch up, keep it held up. While that's held up, turn your radio on and keep it there until this until the orange lights on both of these go solid. Then once the orange lights have gone solid, you can release the switch, disconnect your quad. Once you've disconnected the power from the quad, turn your radio off, turn your radio back on, pull the bind plug out of this. Once you pull the bind plug out of that, power your quad back up and everything's all hunky dory all the way. But you don't want to have to put all this cable in and run that as well as this in your quad, so you just want to run that. So to run the little baby receiver, what you need to then do is where your normal PPM inputs are, sorry PWM inputs are on the side of the quad here, which is the opposite side to where you plug the USB in. So I'll just show you that. You need to take the negative and channel four. Make sure it's channel four that you use. If you use any of the others, this won't work. So use channel four for your signal wire and your negative run from here. Then your 3.3 volt, which is what you need for this receiver, you need to take from the second pin on the inside of the second port on over there, yeah? So you take your negative and your channel input from here, and you take your 3.3 volt from there. All right, if you run five volt through that receiver, you will blow the arse out of it and it won't work. You've got to use 3.3 volt which is what's on this piece of the board. So once you've done that, the plug that was on the end of there, cut that off, say about, say an inch and a half, with an inch and a half of extra wire left on the plug, and solder it to the inputs on here. So you need the negative channel four from this plug, which is your, PPA, your PWM input, so you need the negative in channel four from there and then your 3.3 volt, which is the second pin in on the back, on the back socket. And once you've done that, you can run, just like solder them up, heat shrink them, then heat shrink the whole piece of wire. So you're just left with three nice wires that run into a plug like that. And once you've done that, you can hit your receiver. And um, this is gonna be a bit of a pig now, I know it is, as it always is, but I oh, know it wasn't for a change. So you can run your receiver, run the plug into your receiver, place it directly behind your camera on a little bit of Velcro, and just tuck the antennas down the side. Or tuck them out the bottom if you want like that. So that's basically the installation of it and how you put it in and how you wire it up. Next thing is going to be doing everything on the computer, which isn't hard, really easy to do, but if you don't do it, it don't work. So give us one minute, I'll just fire up the laptop, I'll plug the quad in and then I'll bring you back and I'll show you how you set it all up through clean flight. Um, it works the same way with base flight, it might have a couple of different, um, what's it called, a couple of different things that you need to click on but they essentially mean the same thing. So you can do it on either clean flight or base flight, in fact my ZMR is set up on clean flight for it. Yeah, sorry on base flight so I know it works on there as well because they're both running the same receivers now. So yeah, just give us two seconds, I'll just go and fire the laptop up, I'll bring the camera down, I'll show you how to do it on the laptop. Cheers guys. Right, first thing you need to do is you need to go into port, and where it says UR2, you need to select Serial RX. Once you've done that, just click save and reboot, and then that'll then tell the flight controller that it needs to be looking for a serial um, inputs from a radio. So then, <coughs> just like this. 
Let's turn the radio on. Right, then once you've done that, you can you then need to go to now depending on which spectrum you're running, um there's a couple of different options. Now you can these are this is basically to do with the how many channels your radio is running uh, and which way you've bound it. Now mine's set up on a spectrum ten twenty four. So you'll need to select spectrum ten twenty four and then you need to go to receiver mode and then RX serial which is serial based receiver for spectrum S bus and um someday so you need to select that and once you've selected them you can then go down here and click save and reboot again and once you've done that you go into receiver and then as you'll now see everything works just off them three wires and then you've got that switch that switch uh, so you've also managed to figure out how you set up a three position switch on a spectrum which was a bit crazy so yeah right, so I've got angle horizon and then flick the mix switch and then that then puts it into acro mode I've got three position switch for that, and then I've got armed, disarmed, eh, sorry, no. disarmed, armed, then buzzer. So the buzzer works off that switch. So, yeah, that's basically all you need to do. Now, if you find that when you, another thing while I think on, when you first come into this screen, you'll find that your channel map is set or well, it's probably going to be set to default if it's set to default let me just save that you'll find that your throttle's not your throttle your throttle's actually your roll so you need to go onto channel map which is just over hang on a minute where's my mask on just here so it says channel map and you need to change that to where it says JR spectrum and grapner you change that, click save, and then once you click save, then you'll then have all the right channels for everything. You also need to go into the radio and reverse your your rudder and reverse your roll as well, because they'll automatically be the wrong way around when you first bind it. So you need to reverse both of them channels. But other than that, that's it, job done. It's pretty easy. Um now I've figured out how to do it. So so yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory and pretty easy. Um, I hope this helps out a few of you because I'm saying these other receivers, well, the majority of other receivers are all, where's it gone, that? They're all massive, they weigh a ton. The antennas are really long on them. You've got a good chance if you have a crash, you're like cutting the antenna off. So to be truthfully honest with you, I can't really see a better way of doing it unless you start going with um, Foods Harbour and stuff or things like that or even the Fly Sky, eh, not Fly Sky, Fry Sky receivers which you can use S-Bus on but even then the majority of them have all got big antennas like that. So for the sake of having, just unplug that. So <coughs> you can't really go wrong with running a receiver that's that big. You know, it's tiny, it weighs nothing. You don't really end up, you haven't got tons of wires hanging around, so you've got less chance of chopping wires. You know, so, yeah, go for it. That's how it's done. So, just to recap again, just in case anyone decides to try and use the 5 volt, which you don't want, it's got to be 3.3 volt. Your 3.3 volt power source is on the opposite side to your USB, and it's the back one, which is the closest one to the light bar. So you need to run that, and then your negative and channel 4, Make sure you run channel four. If you don't run, if you use a different channel, and you run that in as your signal wire, it won't work. It won't show anything. It's got to be channel four, and you run the, the negative from the same plug. All right, guys. So I hope that helps. Thank you very much. Click subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. It's somewhere around on the page. Um, smash the like button for us and share it around, it's like all the communities and stuff on Google Plus and. You know, on Facebook and everything, so people who are trying to run Spectrum and don't want to run big stupid receivers, you can do it. It's pretty easy. So thanks guys. Bye.